Hello everyone and welcome to DIY D365. This is my new series, Agent Power Virtual Agent. And today is the first episode. In this episode, we're going to just look at how to get started and get over our fears of working on a chatbot. This is a no-code solution as well. As usual, we will have eight episodes in the series and try to get to learn as much as possible. Coming up right after the intro. So without further delay, we will start today's episode. Let me clarify that this is going to be a short episode because we are just starting up and Microsoft has made it so easy for people who don't know Python to build a chatbot. They provided a platform where we can build a chatbot without a single line of code. So we will look into it. Let's look at the agenda for today. We will see what is Power Virtual Agent. So I've tried to come up with a few bullets which might help you in knowing it better. Uh, we will look at licensing briefly, um, how to sign up and what's the navigation. There are the four major things we are going to cover. And hence I said, this is going to be a, a shorter episode, but in future episodes, we will look at different things. For example, what are topics? What are entities? How to build conditions? How to um, invoke a power automate flow from power virtual agent. So things like that will come into play once we move further with all the episodes in the series, but today is going to be shorter. So <clears throat> in terms of what is power virtual agents, it is in a nutshell, it's um, part of power platform. So as I've said, it's part of power platform, uh, wherein they have provided you the ability to build a chatbot. Right, so as you know, in Power Platform, we've got Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, and now we've got something called Power Virtual Agents, which is essentially a chatbot, wherein you don't need how to code. You don't need to know how to code or something to be able to build a chatbot. It's essentially all you do is sign up and there would be a test bot ready for you, like literally ready for you within probably five minutes of your sign up, it takes its process um, to compile the files and this and that. So that happens in the background and you'll be, you'll be amazed to see that it's already there. Uh, as I said, it's no code bot. What it does is all the uh, subject matter experts, now they have the ability. So business user or consultant who is non-technical, uh, they now have the ability to build a chatbot. So the gap you see between the technical team member and the SME is not gone because the SME themselves can build it. Um, also, um, power virtual agents are allowed to take action. So for example, it's not just only to uh, provide an answer to your customer, it can also take actions on behalf of your customer. So for example, if I say, can you create a case for me? It can, or incident for me, it can, and then provide you with the incident ID or number as well. So that's what we mean by taking actions. Now it also works better with Dynamics 365 customer insights. It's it's not just, it's not that, that you have to get Dynamics 365 customer insights. It's just that it works better because you can transfer chats and you can, um, get more visibility of your customer's data within, uh, power virtual agent when a customer is inquiring about something. That's why it's said, but it's not a mandate that you need to get Dynamics 365 customer insights as well. So that was a uh, power virtual agent. I've tried to define it or, tell you what it is. Okay, the next thing, okay, let me go back, go back. So licensing is the next thing. Okay, so for licensing, what I'll do, I'll come here, okay. <clears throat> so as I said, I'll touch briefly, I'll show you the licensing, it should be here under pricing. So you can see it's uh, 1000 US dollar. Uh, that's what it says, it says, 2000 sessions per tenant per month. 
So, which means essentially it's costing you 50 cents per chat. Um, when I say per chat, as in a chat session, you, your customers are having with the bot, so it costs you that much. It's on your screen. You can also download the licensing guide. I'll provide a link to the sign up page, pricing page, as well as to the licensing guide in the description section, so you can check it out as well. Now, in order to, the next thing obviously is to sign up. So. Uh, you can sign up free or you can start free, right? Uh, it will give you a 30 days trial and then you will have to either extend the trial or you'll have to purchase it. So it's up to you or you can just leave it like that if you're done learning or you didn't like it for any reason. So I have done all this. When you will do it, it will obviously ask you for work or email, uh, work or a school email address. Um, so you need to provide that and it's as simple as how we do it for Power Automate or anything else. So um, I'll provide this link uh, for sign up as well in the description, as well as probably on my blog as well. Now, what happens after you have signed up? After you have signed up, um, it takes about two to five minutes to configure uh, the chatbot. So there would be a test bot ready for you. And this is how it looks like. So what I've done, I've just changed the name of the bot. Other than that, everything remains same. I can start talking to it. So that's all you see. As soon as you sign up, there would be a pop-up which will show you the Power Virtual Agents image, like the branding thing um, from Microsoft, and it will just create a test bot for you. So getting started was this simple. So basically you enter your email ID and a test bot is ready for you. Now I know that there are further uh, tasks you need to do, for example, deploying it on your website and things like that, obviously. But I'm just talking about how cool it can be. Like they provided you sign up and there's a bot ready for you. So that's that. Now the next bit was, I think it was navigation. So let's look at navigation. So navigation, what we have got on the left hand side or left navigation page, we have got home topics entities, um, analytics, publish, publishing the chatbot, obviously, and manage. So in the left navigation pane, we've got this. Then you have got a bot pane and you can clearly see it says test bot here, right? Um, within the bot pane, um, you've got a chat window where you can test your messages and test your bot. You can reset the chat like this. And you can also track between topics. Now, this was the next um, slide. We'll talk about it after I've uh, covered the navigation. So you've got a left navigation pane, a bot pane, and then you've got the main pane. Now in the main pane, what we've got, let me go back to the slide. So we've spoken about bot pane, test your bot here. Uh, then you have a main what we've got here is getting started. So you can author topics, go to topics from here. You can customize your greetings. You can publish your bot. To publish your bot, click on go to publish. You can monitor the performance of your Power Virtual Agent or the chatbot, whatever you may want to call it. You can go to analytics. Now that's directly, it's so you don't need Power BI for it. It's already a Power BI dashboard or report, we can say, and you also don't need Power BI licensing to look at the performance of your virtual agent. So you don't need a license for that. You can also provide feedback to Microsoft, as you can see here. And if you want to learn more, so like Microsoft provides you with the documentation or of everything they release as a product or a service so that you can learn more about it, uh, you can click here and go and learn about it. Right, so that's that. I think I missed on track between topics. So what is this track between topics? So it's not, it's basically for the person who is creating this bot, not chatting with this bot. Chatting while testing is okay, but it is basically for, for the person who is creating this bot. So if I click here and you've got multiple topics, right? And each topic might have different conditions. Like if somebody asks you, how's the weather, go to this. And if immediately after that, they say that how's the weather in let's say Sydney, go to this. So you might have different conditions which are 
somehow related to the topics. And that's where it is tracked between topics. Once I do that, I'll be able to see it on the right hand side that where does the conversation go? When somebody says hi, what does the bot do in the topics, right? So that's why it is tracked between topics. I'm not sure if I'm making myself clear, but think about it as that you've got three different subjects as topics. And when somebody asks a question here, and you have enabled track between topics, not somebody asks a question, it's the person who is creating the bot. So if they ask it on the right hand side, you'll be able to see which topic, which line, uh, where is it going? So consider an Excel and you'll be able to see the flow of what the chatbot does, where is it going? And, and also, let me just check it. Also, uh, whatever you have here, if you click on that, it will highlight that on the right hand side, right? We're not going there yet, but obviously I've clicked on track between topics. So uh, it will now happen. So you'll be able to see. Right. So you can see what has happened in the back end. All three, uh, three of these process were triggered. And that's what this does, right? It clearly tells you where is the chat or the topic or the flow going, right? Let me go back to my PowerPoint and see if I've got something else for today. No, I haven't. So this was uh, getting started and how you can start your journey on Power Virtual Agent. That's why I said this is going to be a short video. It's comparatively shorter um, to my other videos. But in the coming episodes, we will learn much more and how to do everything. Obviously, we talk about basics so that uh, every step you take, every step counts towards your journey. So every episode will learn something new. So towards the end, we'll be able to make uh, an advanced chatbot. That's how we will do it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video. If you like it, comment. If you have any questions, suggestion. have a great day.